Welcome in, welcome in. Welcome back to Crypto Bully Bear Decoder Channel. This video here, I'm going to show all the different coins I believe that the Frank episode, which is season 31, episode 13 on The Simpsons, I believe there's a few coins they highlight in this episode, and I'm going to point them out for you as we speak. And it opens up right in the beginning of the show. Let's go on. You watch when they walk right into the restaurant. Look at the wall. Look at the wall. Right above Lisa's head. Chain link is coming out. Three dimensional. Honeycombs. Chain link. I'm super bullish on chain link. Hold on. Now here, pay attention. I believe chain link is still in this frame over here. As well as XRP, watch the titles on what they talk about. It's too bad your name isn't famous. All this will change, for I have been developing my own cryptocurrency. Oh, I have no idea what that means. What do they teach you at that school? How to get the teacher's coffee. Huh, <laughs> basically how to be a slave. Anyway, look at the table. There's a Rubik's Cube on the table. Cupid's link on the table. As watch what he says here. I will explain cryptocurrency by clicking the link. As we all know, chain link short for link. Yeah, but I, anyway, I will explain cryptocurrency by clicking the link to TV's. And there he says, a link to TV's most beloved scientist is Jim Parsons. Now there, I believe, is chain link. He says link, there's a Cuban link. In the beginning, right in the episode, you see the honeycombs right off the wall, three-dimensional, because they want you to see that. Chain link is very well put out on here. Let's move on to the next coin. All right, here we are now. Frank is taking everybody out. They're enjoying all this luxury food, meal stuff. And like I said, with H-Bar, there's the bird. And he brings it, and the bird flies over to Marge, and you see that sign. Let's move on. And yourself outside the door, just ask me to buy your drink. Now here, I explain home late. I see a bar. I see H. Why I think this is H bar is because even though it's probably far reached, I look at the bird to the left, and I see something that looks like a tracking device. And if you know Hedera Hashgraph. They're in the medical field with tracking temperatures of the C word, what's been going around last year and this year. So they keep tracks in the medical field, which the bird has a tracking device. I just find it funny that it doesn't say home late, love Homer, you know, something to that. It just has a bar and H. So to me, I believe that's H bar there. Let's move on. We have three more coins to show you. All right, so now here Burns is talking to Mr. Frank, telling him about you don't really know who your true friends are because you're going to be rich and everyone's going to be your friend. So as Frank is looking back at his friends, he's actually looking at some coins that I believe are being pointed out to us. So let's play the clip. Your friends don't give a wit about you. That is not true. Those guys are my best buddies. That's so drunky and the evil bartender. Now, think about this, Professor. The curse of wealth is that you will never, ever again know if anyone truly likes you. Oh my, could it be that they're, well, they're really just leeches? Now, here we go. So now, this one, I believe, is casino coin. We have casino chips on the table. He's stealing the money. They're not going to do exactly and show you stealing chips. They try to distract you and show you the money. But there, I see casino coin... And that's my belief why I invested in Casino Coin because of this particular scene here. Now, we're gonna go over to the next scene. This guy is stealing a telescope. Now, it don't really make sense. And if it's about a cryptocurrency episode, you know about Telcoin. Again, it's not financial advice. 
just my own vision, my own beliefs of what I believe they're telling us which coins to be looking for. So here I think Telcoin. And here, I believe Anchor. Homer putting an anchor inside of his pants? And then it kind of makes you seem like... It makes you seem like he's sad about it. It's nothing to be sad. This is all about to get hyped, get happy, to know what we're getting ourselves into. Do your own research. Don't worry about the FUD. Don't worry about this Ripple lawsuit. It's all planned out. It was all staged. For whatever reason, I don't care. I just know that what I'm holding is going to be part of the future. And I just can't wait to see the next step of cryptocurrency. Ripple's going to have the Ripple test. And is going to make way for the rest of cryptos. That's the end of this video. Thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe and get more crazy content from inside my head. Thank you. And I'm out. All right. Hold on. I'm not leaving right yet. I just wanted to... The last thing I want to show you is why I think things are going to happen overnight. Is because certain things like this. They show you the moon over the board of this particular problem. Oh, thank God you got you these guys in their pajamas. A terrible dream. Oh, about what? All the awful things I've done. Uh, Mr. Gensler. had that second blueberry at dinner. But this is why I brought you. Look, someone posted a solution on the whiteboard. Frank is ruined. Now if you look and you see Everybody's wearing pajamas. Why things are going to happen overnight. And so the equation was solved. Solved by the one person who could solve it. Professor John Freak. And that is the end of this video. Thank you for tuning in. Goodbye.